And a terrifying plot uncovered at the Oklahoma County Courthouse. A man arrested allegedly before he could carry out his plan to kill a judge. News Force Caitlin Ogle with this story. Well, the investigation is still in its early stages, but the sheriff's office says this all started when they got a really good tip that D'Angelo Favors may want to hurt or kill the judge. Later spotting the suspect on surveillance footage allegedly carrying the bag with the weapon inside. We believe that he had both the means and the ability to carry out um, a murder. Oklahoma County deputies saying this man, D'Angelo Favors, now locked up. Investigators saying they found the 43-year-old wandering around the courthouse Monday. After getting a credible threat, he wanted to hurt or kill District Judge Amy Palumbo. It appeared as though he was trying to get into several locked doors. As soon as they saw him, they were all over this guy and probably averted tragedy. Aaron Brilbeck with the Sheriff's Office saying after the arrest, deputies made a discovery. A gun hidden in a trash can just a few feet from the courthouse. Investigators searching for answers in security video. You can see him, he's holding the bag that we believe has the gun inside of it. Uh, he's wearing a reflective vest. We don't know what his plans were as far as that reflective vest was concerned, but there is some construction going on in the area. We don't know whether he was planning on using that as a way to try to sneak into the courthouse. Now, investigators are searching for clues on the gun. We're checking out that gun to see if his fingerprints are on it and just make sure that we can tie him directly to that gun. And trying to piece together Favor's motive and plans. We're trying to determine whether or not he was planning on using that gun to possibly kill the judge or hurt or kill other people. The Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office just thankful no one was hurt. For them to be able to spot this guy out of a large crowd of people and take him down quickly and safely before, you, before he hurt anybody is really remarkable. And the sheriff's office also says Favors had a court hearing on Friday, but he didn't show up. Now it's up to the district attorney to decide what charges he'll face in this case, if any.